The World of Warcraft Healer is a dangerous mix of sugar, spice, and a sickly cake slice. They're as volatile as the grandma who constantly wishes to feed you food even though you're on a diet and have already consumed 10,000 calories of chocolate cake in a day. So, it's only fitting that as a gamer, I grab my sugar and slice my way into another challenge. Can you level in World of Warcraft using only an armor and weapons you pick up from dead bodies? The Restoration Shaman Edition. If you haven't seen the previous video regarding the rules of this challenge, I recommend watching that one first, but to sum it up, only weapons and armor from dead bodies, no battlegrounds or dungeons, let's go. Originally, I wasn't sure if I would end up as a healer this run, as I let the wheel do the talking for me. There are, after all, 36 specializations in World of Warcraft, and as such, doing all of them seemed like a potentially interesting concept for this challenge idea. So, I let the wheel take control of my fate, just like when you can't decide what to eat, so you slide up on Google's list of foods to see what's good, only to be disappointed with the results. To sum up the randomness, three wheels were spun. The first picked my specialization, which ended up as Restoration Shaman, as you can see from the title of this video, if, if you, 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 you may want to go check on that. The second picked my race, which turned out to be an orc. And the final wheel picked my expansion, which turned out to be Panda Land, aka Blizzard's April Fool's joke made manifest. I named my character after a one-off gag from my previous video because I am unoriginal and steal content from my own jokes. I read that the antics on the run and let the games begin. Once I zoned in, I committed unspeakable genocides on the Boar population, stopped my video from being age-restricted, grabbed my mallet to swing my meat, got poked in a mallet by a scorpion sickly stinker, I took that way too long. It took way too long to say that. Flexed on the familiars for looking at me too long. They were getting too familiar with my content and discovered Karstag did not make his way into this part of the video. Sorry to disappoint you. I played musical boxes with the locals, gave my meat to the innkeeper, took it back in my hands after she immediately rejected me, and found a curious situation in the form of a bow. I figured I should mention this once in this video and leave it at that mention once I do, but there are certain items that some classes can't use while others can. For the sake of not making this explanation too long, shamans are a class that can wear plate armor as well as a class that is excluded from certain weapon choices. A bow just happens to be one of those pieces of equipment. But I figured that since it technically does not impact how the challenge will go if I get one of these set items, mentioning it would be the equivalent of giving you a play by play of each item I loot, and so I will not be doing that here. If you want to see those useless item drops, feel free to look into the levels when they're released on YouTube, probably never. I grabbed a shield to protect my meaty weapon, decided it was alright to float in the water like a limp noodle, and grabbed myself a cheesecloth as I prepared my way into the lands of pandas and grandma's cakes. As I mentioned, my specialization will be restoration, and my location is already preset to go. I'm interested in seeing how picking an expansion will affect my run, and will take on the following zones you see on screen here. If you're interested in that particular zone, timestamps regarding those zones will be set in the chapters for your viewing pleasure. Or don't, just watch the entire video because you're not a pleb. I finally released my meat upon the masses of a fortress, made enough meat jokes for one YouTube video, so decided to balance it out with a pussy slaying joke to entertain the other side of the aisle, became a champion gnome hunter and was awarded a crown like a true king should be, discovered that the alliance are full of furries looking to destroy society, further endangered the furballs by slaying their duke nukems, and immediately contradicted myself by recruiting monkeys into my endless legionnaires. I found a fedora in the forest, watched a monkey teach me what a true gentleman is, put on my suit to slay the cheeto dust, and fought a fish for 20 minutes to obtain a matching pair of pants. This is a good time to bring up that rares in Pandaria will most likely be off limits to me, as, while it is possible to kill them, their health pools are insanely difficult to drag down, and so rather than fight them, the better option is to stay the fuck away from them. So that advantage that Kilkaneza had when doing this challenge is out the window for this restoration shaman. I removed the shoulders of a skeever, defiled the principles of science to turn on gank mode for 10% increases and nearly galloped into the arms of an angel. I watched an elf give me a heart attack, though I think my fedora deterred any further action from being taken, killed a bunch of porch pirates looking to hop on my prime shipping prices, watched helplessly as the spooky elder did strange things to my body, squirted a can of sprite in exchange for a soupy pair of gloves, became Michael Vick's adversary while destroying his bedding farm, got spammed by my girlfriend's four kids because I didn't realize she was a single mom, retaliated by taking my water broke to a whole new level level and ended our relationship with a pair of shoulders on my head. Can't say they were level though. If you were looking for me to burn in hell for those last jokes, you get your wish here with my first death. I made wrist guards for the emo teenagers back in 2007, messed with the bulls and got the horns, went fishing and found a shark, died to the same shark because I made the stupid move of reincarnating right in front of it, died a third time as I apparently forgot how to kite a shark on water because you are a land mammal and it's a sea giraffe, and put on a crown almost as a callback to a reward after completing a difficult task. 
I exterminated one of the furry ranches, joined the conga line of tiny village people, stole one of their coats when they decided to play hide and seek under the snow, realized that Kun Lai had a big monkey business problem, took care of the cult leader that enforced the satanic banana rituals, and took great pleasure in playing the lead role in Battle of the Bananas 2, Slaughter Edition. I went into a mirror room and got a spear to the jugular, discovered I was kidnapped and had to take their bracers as payment for their insolence, and did some bug testing for Blizzard. Spoilers, the game is still bugged. I was tempted by a cult of Shaw worshippers via a skinning knife, imbued the will of Shaggy so I could say it wasn't me when atrocities were committed, challenged the leader and took his horns as a neck trophy for my deeds, punished heretics with a hammer for what they were doing in my swamp, and proceeded to commit mass genocide of the rodent population looking for a stylish belt. I disguised myself in a cloak as the rival frat party, put on a new pair of shoulders thinking it was a costume affair, got kicked once the Alpha Theta watermelon team arrived, stole someone's shoes to make up for the lack of my own, and then realized I had the exact same pair sitting by the doorstep once I got home. I arrived on the bad side of town, became an exterminator with a new tool belt, found the right weapon for the job on one of my side gigs, made enough money to finally afford my wedding band, decided I did not want to spend the rest of my life with bug people so I had another domestic, and finally filed for a divorce after realizing I had shown my meat off to various people at the beginning of this challenge. I accidentally ripped my pants after a light day in the marsh, destroyed my belt as a result of poor clothing choices, found another pair of shoulders to cover my weak deltoids, realized that my reputation in the marsh was forever ruined, and wrapped up my time spent here for Damnation Island, aka The Maw. I had immense disappointment when the furry struck back in Bastion, realized you had to actually survive the humility trial, got atom bombed twice as a result for being too stupid to realize it the first time around, watched as the woodland allies did not let me purify myself in a night of debauchery, and arrived at the temple to confront my sins and drink water with lemon after church. I face planted into dirt asking for forgiveness, woke up in a drunken ball only to get clubbed once again, wondered when I'll stop waking up in different circles of religion only to pass out in the arms of another, actually won a fight since I arrived in the Shadowlands and realized how short-lived it was when I get hooked into another knockout. I woke up in the mall only to grasp that Inception is real, finally got my reality in check only to realize I'd rather be knocked out than in a dress in Fairyland, put on some new boots to avoid the stains of the depraved, protected my wrists from any future etching endeavors, watched as Cosmo and Wanda wished me away, came back a decapitated Cosmo for a new headpiece to wear, did the same to Wanda shortly afterwards and merged their brains together for equality's sake, watched as people charged me for ruining their childhood, and saw the full fury of all furries combined into one stack horn running across the field. I got snipped one more time for a task, got sick of this shit and chose a religion to reap the sinners, sucked the souls out of some smashing stones, lied because they actually sucked the souls out of me, forgot to crowd control enemies and plummeted dearly for it, realized that this would be so much easier if I only knew how to play Dark Souls, got rewarded for my hard work by getting a worse mallet, netted my final set of good point points by dragging a ghost through a dog pen, and beat World of Warcraft using only armor and weapons I picked up off mobs. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want to see similar content to this one, or leave a dislike if you hated every single moment of it. If this video gets 3 likes, I'll try to release another one of these types of challenges. I'll also post a pinned comment down below, and if that gets 3 likes, I'll release the levels of these challenges as I recorded them. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.